Hello, welcome to CloudPin. I'll help you set up CloudPin proxy management. First of all, we'll open CloudPin. Look at these tabs at the top where there's proxy management. There are two numbers in the tab here. In the front of the figure, it represents the number of proxies. Because of CloudPin, you can manually add or verify your crawl proxy for whether a particular site is available, the total number of saved proxies. Behind this figure represents CloudPin among the proxies. It should be noted that the number of proxies on the left also includes the number of proxy authentications that have failed. Shown here is how to add and remove a proxy. The left column is the number of function keys to operate this proxy. I'll give you a brief look at these function keys in the left column. First, click this button so we can add a proxy. In this input box, fill the IP address, port number, username, and password, respectively. We'll add a first proxy. The following are two input boxes that the vendor can contain multiple batch numbers, and I'll add the first example. Click on the OK button. There, I've just added a valid proxy. As you can see, I just added two text boxes into a proxy of both of these fields. Added proxies will be in the form of a tree view display to list all of them. Double click the proxy to edit it. Then on the next campaign. In adding all the data, including the addition of proxies and advertising, I'll explain how to add a mailbox or add accounts. See this? We can use different users or different categories. For the proxy interface, simply give an example. Click here on the drop down button to view all the campaigns. The right button is to manage campaigns. First of all, I'd like to create two new campaigns. I've just added the proxy, but it doesn't bind to any campaigns, so I then re-add a proxy. Campaigns will move to the selected text 1. Because of our campaigns in the currently selected text 2, it's not possible to display data in text 1. Click on text 1 and you can see the new proxy. This option is whether to use the proxy or not. If this option is on, CloudPin will not use the proxy at any time. Accounts will not be used or bound to a user's proxy, but it will use the IP address of the computer instead. This is the Edit button. Double-click to edit. You can click here to remove the selected proxy. Click Refresh to refresh the screen.
This is a conditional display button. For example, you can uncheck it, so no authenticated proxy is not displayed. This option is also a conditional display. It shows its parent. For example, I do not show the vendor's parent. Well, we'll restore it. Followed by the import, export function. For the importing feature, you can select batch import proxy. You can also choose to paste the text in the input box. The correct input is the IP address, port number, username, password. or the following format, IP address, port number, and vendor and batch number text box. Both formats can successfully bulk import. Now we will export. With exporting, you can choose to export a proxy. You can use the conditional check, mobile, etc., and some bulk operation functions. The proxy list is on the left. And how to operate the list of proxies. To the right of the plate, the plate is divided into three tabs. The first tab is to display the basic information of the selected proxy. For example, I selected a proxy and it'll show some basic information. I highlight the second and third tab. The second tab is initially mentioned, validation proxy. It can verify the proxy. You can fill these proxies to access the web address here. If necessary, you can click here to edit the request header using this URL. Cloudpin will request the URL through the protocol. Return to the page and you'll fill out a text string which will be included. Behind these two figures on top of this is the number of threads that allows you to check the proxies at the same time. The following symbol is timeout. Cladpin requests this URL in a number of seconds. A web page request which does not contain the string proves a timeout and the request is a failure. This option is the country where the proxy belongs to. The tick on the left of the agent is to be detected by the country, so click Start to run. I'll explain this proxy tab. This will get some free proxies online. I suggest that you use the collection proxy for the free proxy that each user can use. And some users use these free proxies. It may be illegal and the system will remember the proxy using the proxy login and account. So a secure connection speed is not recommended to use a free proxy. First of all, we need to choose a save location and select the two classifications. Again, these two figures represent the number of threads to execute. Here are the choices about the number of crawl-free proxies. Click Start to begin a crawl. After the success of the crawl, click the refresh button on the left side. The display will crawl to the proxy. You can click and use the proxy.
we visit www.amazon.com, this web address. Click on Stop to stop the validation of the proxy. Amazon.com is the result of this. The page URL then determines whether Amazon will be accessed. We can tell by the color that it was successful. Red if it fails and green is successful. Yellow is a cancelled proxy. This is before verifying the success of the proxy. And this is the basic information. And the video ends here. Thank you for watching.